This story is called The Foolish Frog. There were lots of frogs around the mill pond. The great bull frogs seemed to say, belly deep, belly deep. The little frogs seemed to cry in their shrill voices, wade the pond, wade the pond. During the day, these frogs spent their time in swimming, sitting in the sun, or catching bugs and flies. There was one little frog who always sat on a rock near the pond. His tongue was so very long and sticky that he hardly missed a bug when it flew by. Of course, he grew much bigger than the rest and was very proud of himself. He knew that all the other frogs thought that he was a very wise young fellow. Finally, the weather began to change, the leaves began to change color, and the grass began to turn yellow. Summer had ended. The days were getting shorter and the nights were getting longer and much colder. The old frogs looked very wide as, as they slipped one by one into the old mill pond. They would go into the mud of the old mill pond. Then the little frogs saw that they were going into the, mill into the mill pond and they followed their example. But the frog, who thought he was so wise, said, he laughed, winter's a long way off yet. The pond is very near. I'm going to wait a little while longer. One day, the last little frog came by the rock. Aren't you coming, he asked. No, said the frog on the rock. You are foolish to follow the rest. There is plenty of time. See how many flies I am catching? Just then, he caught a big flat fly. See, said he, but the other little frog was gone. He was left all alone. At first, he worried a little, but as winter did not come, he got very brave. Why, he thought, there is no f hurry. How foolish for everyone to leave so soon. While all my brothers and sisters are hiding, I'm having the greatest feast of my life. When I see winter coming, I shall jump in the pond and be just as safe as they are. <laughs> Shan't I laugh at them for going so soon? So he stayed on his rock. That night, something happened. It got very, very cold. It was so cold that the little frog said to himself that he would surely go to the pond in the morning. But the sun rose bright and warm and he decided to wait. Then, one night it got so cold that he was almost stiff. If I can only last until morning, I shall surely hide in the pond, he thought. But when morning came, the sun rose high and warm. I shall wait just one more day, he decided. Then I shall surely go. He did not notice that it was getting dark in the north. That night, it got colder than any other time. There was no wind. It just kept getting colder and colder. He could hardly move. Then he started to crawl slowly toward the pond. The wind was beginning to blow now. Hard white little flakes stung his eyes so that he could hardly see anything. The little frog was very much frightened. Oh, he cried, if only it had gone yesterday. He began to think of his little playmates all safe and warm below in the mud for the winter. Presently, he found himself at the edge of the pond. His heart was pounding for joy. Safety was in sight. Soon he would be safe with his friends. He still would be able to laugh at them for going so soon. How wise he was. With that, he gave a great big leap with all his strength out, out through the air he went and landed way out on the pond. But alas, it was so cold. The water was so hard. Never before had it been like that. Oh, it was so cold to his feet. 
In terror, he leaped again, but it was as hard as glass. He could not jump anymore. He could only crawl. Then he stopped and he lay quite still. The wind howled, the snow fell, but the little frog never moved again. In the morning, the farmer's boy walked by the pond on his way to school. He saw something green out on the ice. Going over to it, he saw that it was the frog and that it was frozen. The boy laughed out loud and said, oh, what a foolish frog, and hurried on his way. Now, boys and girls, do you think that any of you are like this foolish frog? Some of you may not be saved yet. You do not know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior because you keep putting it off. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6, 2, Behold, now is the day of salvation. The foolish frog did not plan on being lost, but he was lost just the same because he waited too long. You do not intend to be lost. You want to be in heaven. But if you have not trusted the Lord Jesus as your Savior, you would be lost. If you've never thanked him for dying for you, someday it may be too late. You will be like the foolish frog, too late and on the outside of heaven. Be like the wise frog and be saved today. The devil has many flies of pleasure to offer you, to keep you from Christ. But do not let these keep you from accepting Jesus today. Do it right now. Do not be a foolish frog. Jesus died on the cross for you. He paid for your sins by dying for them. He wants you to accept him now. Old Satan will put in your heart to wait until next week, but next week might be too late. Wouldn't it be terrible to die without Jesus in your heart and be shut out of heaven forever just because you waited too long? Why not open your heart and take the Savior now? today. Don't be like the foolish frog and wait too late.